Hi, I'm 2014 Dreamers, Leaders, and Visionaries honoree, Dr. Helena Johnson. Did you know that? Rosa Parks, a black woman, refused to give up her seat on a city bus to a white man in Montgomery, Alabama, nearly 50 years ago. She was arrested and fined for breaking the law. In response to her arrest, black men and women in Montgomery boycotted or refused to use the buses. They demanded an end to segregation or laws that, demand, that deny equal rights to black people. A young black pastor at the local church named Martin Luther King Jr. led the boycott. Because of the protesters' refusal to use the buses, the bus system nearly went out of business. Know your history. Here's my fellow honoree, Derek King, with more. Thanks, Dr. Johnson. Hi, I'm 2014 DVL honoree Derek King. Did you know that in 1954, the U.S. Supreme Court declared that segregating black and white students in separate schools was unconstitutional? Arkansas continued to segregate schools until 1957, when nine black students attempted to attend the all-white Little Rock Central High School. Governor Orville E. Fabus called out the National Guard to prevent them from entering. In response, President Dwight D. Eisenhower ordered federal troops to Arkansas to enforce integration. After a period of crisis and adjustment, the schools integrated without further incident. Know your history. Hello, I'm Garner Morris, the 2014 DBL Lifetime Achievement Honoree. Did you know that the first African-American combat pilot Georgia-born Eugene Jock Bullock, 1917, was denied entry into the U.S. Army Air Corps because of his race. So he served throughout World War I in the French Flying Corps. He received the Legion of Honor, French France's highest honor among many other, dec other decorations. Know your history. Here's, here's the following honoree. Malika Wright with another first fact. Thanks, Mr. Morris. Hi, I'm your 2014 DVL honoree, Malika Wright. Did you know that Madam C.J. Walker was born as Sarah Breed Love on December 23rd, 1867? The daughter of former slaves, she became the first black millionaire and one of the most successful entrepreneurs of the 20th century with her line of beauty products for black women. Notably, Madam C.J. Walker used her wealth and status to work for political and social rights for African Americans and women. Know your history. I am 2014 DVL honoree, Councilman Jermaine Wright. Did you know that Carl Burton Stokes was born in Cleveland, Ohio in 1927? A 1956 graduate of Cleveland Marshall School of Law, Stokes began his political career as a Democratic member of the General Ohio General Assembly. In 1965, he narrowly lost the race for mayor of Cleveland. In 1967, he ran again and became the first African American to be elected mayor of a major American city. He was reelected in 1969, but after his second term, he left politics and became a news broadcaster in New York City. He returned to Cleveland in 1980 and was general counsel to the United Automobile Workers. In 1983, Stokes was elected municipal court judge, serving two terms as head of the court. He then served in 1994 through 1995 as ambassador to the Seychelles. He died in 1996. His memoirs, Promises of Power, were published in 1983. Know your history. Now here's my fellow honoree, William Barnes. Hi, I'm 2014 DVA honoree, William Barnes. Did you know that Edward Alexander Boucher, born in New Haven, Connecticut, Boucher was the first African-American to graduate from Yale College. 
1876, upon receiving his PhD in physics from Yale, he became the first African American to earn a doctorate. Boucher spent his career teaching college chemistry and physics. Know your history. Hello, I'm 2014 DVL honoree Roxanne Young. Did you know that African Americans legally became the United States citizens when the 14th Amendment was ratified in 1868? It defined the United States citizen as anyone born or naturalized in the United States a definition that includes most African Americans. Know your history. The national theme for African American History Month 2014 is Civil Rights in America. It marks the 50th anniversary of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Here with more information is my fellow honoree, Rita Jackson. Thank you, Roxanne. Hi. I'm 2014 DBL honoree Rita Jackson. Did you know that the 60s were born on February 1st, 1960, over 50 years ago, when four African-American students staged the first sit-in at a segregated lunch counter in Greensboro, North Carolina. Since then, the mythology of the 60s have dominated the idea of youthful activism. Of the three big events of the early civil rights movement, the 1954 Brown versus Board of Education decision, the 1955 through 56 Montgomery bus boycott, and the sit-ins. The sit-ins have always been the least understood and yet the most important for today's young activists. Know your history. The DBL honoree Dr. Joseph Morris. Did you know that the son of escaped slaves from Kentucky, Elijah McCoy, was born in Canada and educated in Scotland? At that time, railroad locomotives needed to be shut down periodically to be lubricated to avoid overheating. The frequent stops prevented railroads from being profitable until McCoy developed the lubricating cup for steam engines, which kept locomotives constantly lubricating, preventing frequent stops and overheating. Did you know he patented the lubricating cup in 1872? It represented the most profitable of his more than 58 patents, which included a folding ironing board and an automatic sprinkler. Know your history. Here's fellow honoree Superintendent Elvin Moman with another first fact. Thank you, Dr. Morris. Hi, I'm 2014 DVO honoree Elvin Moman. Did you know that we began walking in space in 1965? In February 1995, 30 years after the first walk in space, astronaut Bernard A. Harris Jr. became the first black person to walk in space. Black astronaut Robert L. Kirbyn Jr. holds the space walking record. He made four spacewalks during a space shuttle mission in December 2006. There were other firsts on that mission. The first time two blacks went into space together and the first time a black man and woman were in space together. The black woman astronaut was Joan E. Higginbotham. Know your history. Curtis Green. Did you know that retired Marine Corps Major General Charles Frank Bolden Jr became the 12th administrator of NASA and NASA's first ever black administrator on July 19, 2009. As administrator, he leads his NASA team and manages resources to advance the agency's mission and goals. His 34-year career with the Marine Corps included 14 years as a member of NASA's astronaut office. After joining the office in 1980, he traveled to orbit four times aboard the space shuttle between 1986 and 1994, commanding two of the missions. His flight included deployment of the Hubble Space Telescope and the first U.S.-Russian shuttle mission, which featured a cosmonaut as a member of his crew. Know your history. Now, with another historical fact, is my fellow honoree, Eddie Strings Martin. Over to you, Eddie. Thanks, Curtis. Hi. I am 2014 DVL honoree, Eddie String Martin. Did you know that on April 15, 1947, Jackie Robinson at age 28 became the first African-American player in Major League Baseball. Robinson broke the color bear in the sport that had been segregated for more than 50 years. Exactly 50 years later, on April 15, 1997, Robinson's groundbreaking career was honored 
and his uniform number, 42, was retired from Major League Baseball. Robinson was the first ever number retired by all teams in the league. Know your history. Hello, I'm 2014 DVL Otteries, Barbara Williams. Did you know that many African Americans descended from people who lived in Central and Eastern Africa? Of particular importance was a 300 mile stretch of land in East Africa between the Congo and Gambia rivers. At least one out of every 10 African Americans, more than 200,000 in the North and another 200,000 in the South, were free when the American Civil War broke out in 1861. The 13th Amendment to the Constitution, ratified in 1865, officially outlawed slavery in the United States and thus freed thousands of African Americans. It also outlawed any sort of forced labor except as punishment for a crime. Know your history. Now, here's my husband and fellow honoree, Paul Williams. Thanks, Barbara. Hi, I'm 2014 DVL honoree Paul Williams. Did you know that in response to growing demand for government action, Congress passed the Civil Rights Act of 1964? This far-reaching law prohibited discrimination in public facilities, employment, education, and voter registration. It also banned discrimination not only by race and color, but by gender, religion, and national origin. Know your history. 